I mean, I can never listen to that. Ever since I saw that movie, I could never listen to that song in the same way. <laughs> ah, I better make this quick because I have surgery. Hi, hello there, and good talk to you all, and welcome to a brand new episode of Halloween in January 4. I am your host, Dr. Weiser Fripp, and whenever I am not performing illegal body modifications or surgery or perfecting flesh art, I am usually here reviewing movies. So. <clears throat> It is day eight of our Halloween in January reviews, and today's I am reviewing American Psycho. Yeah, yeah, it's a classic American Psycho, starring Christian Bale as the insane Patrick Bateman. Who is this uh, Wall Street banker and stuff? It also has his fiance in it, played by Reese Witherspoon. And um, he's got pretty much all, you know. Good women, good money, but he is a psychopath. Absolutely deranged. Uh, so let's get to my likes and dislikes about this one. Well, first of all, this is a comedy horror or comedy thriller. Either way, it can get marked as a horror film. And it definitely has the horror elements there. Uh, so yeah, first of all, I like the character of Patrick Bateman. He was absolutely insane. Especially the scene where he kills Jared Leto. I'm thinking that moment when you realize the joke, uh, the old Batman killed the, jo the, the recent Joker. <laughs> that is insane, because they did star Jared Leto as well as uh, as Paul Allen. And that is one of my favorite scenes in the film, the axe-killing scene when he's playing Hugh Lewis in the news, hit to be square. <laughs> it is a fun f scene, that, and I do like it. Especially when he plays Hugh Lewis in the news. <laughs> that scene, I can never listen to that. Ever since I saw that movie, I could never listen to that song in the same way again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's that one. Uh, another one of my likes is the chainsaw scene. He kills two women. He kills one and he whilst he's having a threesome and chases the other one with the chainsaw naked. That scene is mental, but yet somehow funny. I, I don't know. I just I did a fun film to watch. It's so crazy, I know. Uh, I like the kills in this too and the fear factor and the fact that Patrick Bateman was a complete and deranged psychopath. Um, but yeah, this is a good film. I also like the cinematography in this. To say it came out in the year 2000, the cinematography to me feels a bit old, you know, like early 90s, late 80s styled quality of picture. I don't know whether that was intentional or, or whether they. You did that? I don't know, but I think it works. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it works for me. Uh, I can't say the same for the sequel, American Psycho 2, but huh, we're not reviewing that right now. We're reviewing the first and the best one. Um, yeah, so I just liked the film how it followed Patrick Bateman, an American banker with a psycho. An American psycho. 
You know, it was just dark, witty, and humorous, and I love it. Uh, my dislikes, you know, it's hard to think of a dislike when you enjoy a film so much, but uh, yeah, I, I can't think of anything negative off the top of my head, but I do recommend this film because I love it. Um, and Christian Bell puts up a fine show. So, uh, let me see. Final thoughts and ratings. <laughs> I enjoy American Psycho every time I watch it. And I just love the crazy killer uh, Christian Bale plays as uh, Patrick Bateman. And if they were going to do a sequel, I wish he could have done it. And it wasn't made for video. Because the sequel to me is kind of a bit like piss, you know. Not the thick yellow kind of piss, more like the sort of clear kind of piss, but you can tell it's going yellow. Anyway, uh, with all that being said, I'm going to give American Psycho, with Christian Bell, and I'm going to give this... <laughs> Do you know what? Fuck it, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5, 4 scalpels out of 5 for American Psycho. So, that has been Halloween in January, day 8. I have been Dr. Visor Flip. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe to the official Random Horror YouTube channel. I'm off to perform surgery now because a man wants to be made into a dolphin. So, till tomorrow, I bid you all half the say goodbye, yeah? Ah.